happy Thursday! So I'm getting ready to run out with a new buyer um, to an open house across town and then um, two more appointments right after that on the other side of town. So I'm like, oh my goodness, um, busy morning. But um, I wanted to share this beautiful devotional on God's Word with you before I begin my day running around <laughs> like a chicken without a head. So I pray that this word will strengthen you, heal you, inspire you to trust in the Lord and look to his word. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. We need his word. God sent his word, Jesus Christ, the living word. We need his word to live strong, to experience the abundant and eternal life that Christ died to give us. Amen. Let my words to you today be like smooth, delicious honey. My words are like summer fruit, their juice dripping down into your heart, where they create more sweet fruit. And this is what God desires out of us that we would produce his fruit of the spirit in us. Amen. My words are meant to give you new strength and to make you wise. They're meant to make you happy. My words are pure like the sun and they'll light your way today and every day. Um, Every morning when I wake up, and I wake up way too early, um, I'm like tired, really tired, um, haven't eaten yet either, but the first thing that I put on is the book of Psalm, and you know, I'll go and make my coffee, and I'll get my creamy, yummy, sweet coffee, and I'll go to my couch, my couch, <laughs> and um, I'll cuddle up in my warm fuzzy blankets and then I'll put the book of Psalm on you know I'll do one or two chapters of Psalm in the morning before I go on to other um, teachings of the Bible or prophecy or anything else but um, I've always found that if I hear the Word of God read and eat the Word of God my spirit is um, brighter and countenance is lighter and I have faith, I have hope and I have joy and I have strength, direction, instruction that guides my heart for that day, for today. So this is why we must eat the word of God every day. My words are pure like the sun and they'll light your way today and every day. My judgments are true and completely right. There are no shadowy spots. In my communication with you, my words are worth more than the purest gold. Amen. Respect my word and let the honey of my love delight you and fill you. Amen. With courage and renewed purpose, think about me speak to me I love this part love me I'm your rock the sweet and powerful author of all there is and I'm the lover of your heart and soul amen our God is faithful and true not only did, did he create us out of his love for us because he loves us but he laid down his son's life to redeem us to himself to be his bride to be his sons and daughters to dwell with him in his presence now and forever after this earth passes away amen so he gives us his holy word and Jesus is the word of God to feed us nourish us strengthen us and to guide us, to guide our steps to heaven, to eternal life. Amen. And if we embrace his word and cherish his word, he, Jesus, the Father, the Holy Ghost, will manifest themselves to us. 
as his word promised. So the more we love, embrace, and cherish the word of God, the more we know him, the more we'll fall in love with him because he is so, so good and he alone is worthy, faithful, and true to us forever and ever. Did you hear my tummy growling? <laughs> I guess I need to eat something. Oh my goodness. And what I just read came from Psalm 19, verse 7 through 10, and 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10, 2 Samuel chapter 22, 47, 1 Timothy chapter 1, 17, and 1 John 3, 1. May the word of God fill you, bless you, encourage you, inspire you, strengthen you, and heal you. Bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Live in the word. Live in the light.